Hey guys, what's up? Zach Calhoun here. Very excited to walk you through Property Edits.ai, the self-serve application. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the software, how to get access, how to make your own AI-powered photo to AI video videos. All right, check this out. When you see on the top right of the website, a big button that says app login, you just click that button. You'll be prompted with uh, the option to log in and you can start creating projects. Logging in is free and even creating your first project is free as well. Um, and the way you do that is you just click right here where it says create your project. When you do that, you have the option to title the project, whatever you want to. You can add some descriptions as well. And also you can just click select images and the components here are like what you would expect. So you go to your web, you go to your homepage, or you go to you go to your desktop or Dropbox, etc., and you can upload your images. So I'm just going to take an image here and click um, upload and add to project. So now that that project has been added, you'll see here there is a little bit of a next step options. So for example, it shows the image I uploaded. I can add a custom prompt here if I want to. And I also see this pre-built, we call it a pre, it's pre-prompted with something called Dolly Zoom. Now you can exit off this and remove this pre-prompt, but to be honest, it's probably one of the most consistent and simple prompts to use for real estate image to AI video options. You also see two buttons right here. One says add an end frame, and then one says add movement. Now, what's nice is once I click upload this image, I can just click generate video. And then within about a minute, maybe 30 seconds or so, a few moments later, you will see a video produced based on this image. So I have the option to customize the movements I wanna see, or I can just click generate, move, generate and it will create this dolly zoom effect right here. So while this is generated, I'm going to show you a couple other options that are available. If you click add movement, you'll see different effects. There's dolly zoom, aerial drone, pan left, zoom in. Um, there's tilt up, tilt down, pull out, push in, trunk left, trunk right. There's quite a few options, orbit left, orbit right. What you need to know is that these, these are different prompts, have different movements. And you need to kind of test some out to really understand, you know, how they look and what to expect. But overall, we, I really like this Dolly Zoom default option. This kind of converts basically an image into a, a, moving, um, a moving five second video, okay? Also to keep in mind, aerial drone or aerial, these are effects that, um, and, and, a, and a lot of these also tilting left, tilting right, turning right, orbiting right, orbiting left, um, all of these are highly affected by what's called also an end frame. So we finished the video scene created here. If I click play, it's showing that dolly zoom effect. So I, just, I can download this video and add it to my property video. So now I'm going to click select image again. And this time I'm going to pick two images. Um, let's see here. I want ones that kind of connect so I can show an example. So let's go here. This one. So I'm going to add this to my project. All right, there's a living room photo. And then I can click right here, this button that says add end frame. So what I just showed you a moment ago was probably the most simple way to use the AI, just making Dolly Zoom effects out of your images. This is now an end frame. So when I add an end frame, basically where do I want the image to end up, right? So it's going to start somewhere and end somewhere. And now my prompting is kind of the in-between. So in this case, I have Dolly Zoom, um, but... I'm going to select an M frame of a different angle of the living room. So actually, I kind of forgot. Let's say I got this one right here. I want to kind of go to the right maybe. So now I can get a little bit more fancy. So if I, so if I do a quick look, like this is like the, the other, this is kind of more of a different angle of that living room, right? So I'm going to add, this is my end frame. Start here and going here. If I, if I know what's here, our AI can infer kind of what's in between. So in this case, I'm going to say orbit to the left okay and i'm going to remove this dolly zoom effect okay i'm going to click generate video so when you do this you may uh you know you have you kind of give more options more prompts and it has the ability to now create a orbiting left camera movement so that's really really cool so i want to show you how that works really simply um overall if you're just getting started i highly recommend just using one image prompt and dolly zoom and, and convert a bunch of images to video and download them 
and make your first video. Uh, keep really simple. Um, over here to the left, you will see other prompts as well. So we have project seven, project six, project five, and you can customize these project names, say it's a, a house name, et cetera. Um, and what I'm showing you is that let's say you have 10 projects you're working on or, or five, et cetera, or one at a time, you probably put their address here and we order them to where the, the newest project is on top. So for example, I uploaded this front of the house image and I put, you know, a dolly zoom movement that kind of zooms in to the house very simply. As you get more complex with some of the movements you select, there's um, a lot of radical things that you'll notice that uh, if you do not give it a good clear prompts, the AI will um, infer a lot of things. So let, let me show you an example. So cool, here's a great example. So here is the uh, start here, go here. I click this in my orbit to the left option. So we're orbiting left and it's kind of putting these images together, right? It's combining them together, which is really, really cool. Now, um, if you notice here towards the end of this clip, there's a little bit, what, uh, well, it all actually was perfect. Okay, so that's really, really cool. So what you can do is essentially give you, whether it's you yourself as a real estate photographer or video editor, um, let's say you're a real estate media company and you have a couple of editors, a series of editors. You can literally just give them all access to this um, have them edit all the images, converting them from image to video. And quickly, um, you, you can create a video uh, from images using 100% AI from this process. So it's really, really cool. So lastly, let's talk about pricing and how our pricing works. Right now, as I'm making this video, um, Property Edits AI, the app, which is what we are you know, releasing, um, is newer. So we're making it really simple. If you want to unlock these images to video downloads, uh, we call this a, a bundle. So it's 15 generations per bundle, okay? And a bundle right now, uh, you'll see the price when you click here, it's a one-time fee. So you can come in, use the tool, convert all your images, um, pay once and you have your bundle. Really simple, uh, really straightforward, and maybe in the future, we'll have some more complex enterprise type pricing for folks that are high volume, et cetera, or want to do unlimited plans, stuff like that. But right now, it's just really simple. Pay one time, unlock the bundle, go make some money from the project, and then come back to us for the next project. That's it. We love partnering with you guys. We love helping you. We love building these kind of tools using technology. We're hoping that we can do it even more and more and more in the future. So if you have any feedback, let us know. Or for your friends. We're here to help you. Hopefully this walkthrough was really simple and clear. At the end of the day, we're taking images and converting them into videos using AI. It's very simple. Um, there's a lot of fun, fun more things we're going to be showing and, and build, building on this. But for now, let's get started. Click below, unlock your first bundle, and let's go crush. All right, see you there.